who you try to escape it and you just can't get out of that stuff the self-proclaimed king of drama in the pokemon community is actually at it again hey you know the, if you, the second you get out yanks you right back into that stuff didn't really want to but i mean here we are it's getting pretty embarrassing at this point so i i need to put that stuff down I'm gonna drop the whole sausage on the table I'm gonna go whole hog in this and we're just gonna we're just gonna stop this right now okay so a little bit of drama happened a little a couple days ago. You may have missed it. You may not have seen it at all because it's really not that interesting, quite frankly. What happened was, was Danny Phantom put together a little video where he was talking about product, right? Boxes and how it's moving and basically taking a shot, in my personal opinion, at like TikTok and Instagram investors, right? People that are looking for quick cash and people that are trying to like, you know, say, buy this box, do this, do that. Here's where this stuff's going, right? Cool, whatever. There's a couple things about that video, right? But uh, Nostalgianomics popped in. He uh, popped his little head out of the ground. and was like, hey, what's going on here? Did Danny Phantom make a video? I'm going to watch this. He didn't like some of the things about the video. He made his own video making counterpoints, a lot of stuff. Perfectly fine, perfectly cool. Whatever, man, do your thing. You're free to criticize and do whatever you want about anybody. That's fine. I respect it to a degree. I will say, before I move on, one of the things about Danny Phantom's video that myself personally I didn't like was he starts the fucking video and he talks about like, you know, COVID price and things like that, the inflation of actual singles and stuff like that. Using an example where people are getting Charizard cards and then fucking little Timmy gets like a, a 1500 card out of nowhere. Like that card goes from $15 to $1,500 and that's some crazy explosive market value stuff right there. But the whole thing about his video is talking about sealed product and booster boxes essentially, right? Those two markets are not really comparable. I don't think the volatile singles market, the hot singles in my area, are the same as booster boxes. You can't really compare them. Singles, all it takes is a popular dude to drop some dick right out of his fucking pocket and be like, okay, this card's popular now. And there you go, it's popular. If someone has the right stuff, they can just manipulate singles super easily. I'm not saying product can't be manipulated, but it has a very steady increase. If you buy a box and you sit on it for a couple years, sit on it for five years, there's almost 0% chance that you're going to lose anything on that unless a lot of boots leave the hobby or unless they just fucking find a ton more of it, like a bunch more of it actually enters the hobby. It's a pretty safe bet sitting on a booster box. There's always going to be content creators, people want to add stuff to their collection, new people stepping into the hobby, and people that are just overall interested in having that stuff sealed in their collection. Pretty safe bet, right? Stalgenomics made several things talking about that. He made a video, you know, breaking the whole thing down, using Danny Phantom, of course, as the actual puppeting to actually lift that video up and be the actual center of attention for that, correct? Okay. We got Pokey Knowledge. He stepped in. He made a whole live about this stuff, and I'm sure you're familiar with their drama. He was just, he was talking about that. He was going in, basically saying like how he didn't really like nostalgianomics it was a straw man argument the whole thing with that i agree with some of the points i don't agree with all the points all that stuff it's it's one of those things where they don't like each other he's gonna say stuff pokey knowledge had his points out there but essentially he was defending danny saying that his video is pretty solid and stands for actual booster boxes of modern and it's a good place to start okay Nostalgianomics, of course, made a response video to that where he was like, okay, I'm going to respond to all these little haters, all these little troll hater bros, even though he made a video first and people didn't like his video, so they made their own videos, whatever, cool. He he flips through a binder and he just starts talking about that. He clickbaits his audience and essentially goes through with that and is like, okay, cool. I'm just going to look at all these cards and I'm going to call Chinese cards like Korean cards or Korean cards Chinese cards. I'm just going to get them mixed up. Don't go to Nostalgianomics for actual international cards. He doesn't know what he's talking about that well. He mixes that stuff up right there on video. He can review said video and actually make those corrections, but eh, fuck it. I'm not going to do that. Go check out Crystal Collect. She's the actual person you want to follow when it comes to international cards, whether it be Korean, Simplified, Chinese, or any of that, okay? So... He makes his video, enter Rock Sandy, enter Giga Chad Sandy, fucking stomping in there, dropping stuff, apparently enough to actually scare this dude. He made a video, and he sat down, made his own critiques, and he basically was going over some of the stuff they didn't like about what Nostalgianomics said, and basically memeing and clowning on the entire thing, because he finds the whole drama just stupid, as I think everybody in this community kind of does. It's a fucking dumb thing. Two people who talk about money don't agree with how the money be money. These booster boxes ain't booster boxing the way I want the booster boxing to happen. That's essentially what's going on, okay? Bro, tell me why. This, this is where I don't have a, I have a huge problem with you, Nostalgianomics. Tell me why you sit down, you go live, and you talk about all these haters. You fucking triple, quadruple, quintuple down on your charts, okay? Tell me why it comes time to talk about Rock Sandy's video, okay? Which I'm sure is the whole reason you started this whole live in the first place. Tell me why you get to that video, okay? You get to that, and what you have to say about Rock Sandy's video is one of the biggest bitch moves I think I've seen in this hobby in a minute. 
You literally get on there and you go like, look at this member of the cabal. Look, he's friends with people. He's friends with Poke Knowledge and Pokenomics and all this stuff. Basically already invalidating anything he could have to say about any of that stuff right there, which is what you accuse people of doing because they're friends with the cabal and all that stuff, right? Not, not even the biggest deal. Bro, your critique for Rock's video boils down to nothing more than he changed my voice. He made my voice high pitched. Look at how low these guys will go. They'll change my voice to make me sound funny when i'm talking about stuff he changed my voice oh look at he's friends with the cabal look at this guy it's friends dude if you're gonna criticize what someone says about you the least you can do is at least give some form of actual criticism other than how he edited the video to make you sound funny so are, are you serious right now like i know you can do better than that i know you fucking can handle certain shit because whenever i was boxing wiglet making fun of you. No, I wasn't giving you a little lighthearted jab or anything like that. I wasn't being like, oh, I love nostalgianomics. This is just a little, a wink at you. I was making fun of you, okay? You know I was making fun of you, and you took that like a champ. I'm wondering why now, because all Rock did was say you're goofy, essentially, and this, <laughs> you're, you're fucking sitting here on a live for two hours talking about this stuff, and the most you can do to argue about that stuff is be like, oh, he edited my voice. Oh, no, he made me sound funny. You see this chat? He made me say, I don't sound like that. I'm manly and tough. I'm a tough man boy. I don't sound little and small. Look, he's so low. Like, dude, what a bitch move that you're going to do. <laughs> that's, all, that's all you got? That's what it is? That invalidates three videos worth of stuff. You've literally made a video after everyone's made a video talking about it. You're probably going to make one after this one too. I hope you do. I don't care. I'm not watching it. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Because honestly, I, I'm coming at you. Not your content. You. You are a soft motherfucker in this hobby, dude. For someone who has thick skin, yeah, it's really not showing that well. It kind of shows to me that you care a lot about what people have to say. You can dish out all you want about Danny Phantom. You can talk to Danny Phantom and talk about him all you want, and that's perfectly fine. A couple people make videos disagreeing with you. A couple people are just like, eh, I don't think this is true. What you said is not ironclad, my guy. What you said is not 100% correct, and everything you said, just from an outside standpoint, can be criticized as well. Just like what you did to Danny Phantom. It's 100% able to be done. And the fact that you can't handle that someone did the exact same thing to you, you can't handle it. Obviously you can't because your fucking criticism for it shows it. Made flat of my voice. Who gives a fuck? Who cares they made fun of your voice? Who gives two fucks that he up-pitched your voice in a video? Is that the criticism you have for that stuff? That's it? That's what you have? Okay, you immediately lost the argument because you're a big old bitch about it. That's what happened with that whole thing. And I can't believe you responded that well to my stuff then. I can't believe that's what it was. I don't know. And the whole thing about like the, the cabal and all this stuff. Look, I don't agree with everything Danny Phantom does. Okay. I don't, I don't agree with everything he says. Danny Phantom does not agree with everything I say either, but you want to know something? I can talk to said fool. I can give him his props where he deserves it. And I can actually say good things about the guy and we can have a respectable relationship. You know why? Cause we're fucking adults. We can talk about each other. We can talk crap about each other if we wanted to. And that's okay. We'll be fine at the end of the day. I don't have to agree with everything he says. He doesn't have to agree with everything I say. It's, it's fucking vice versa. Pokey Rev. I can talk about Pokey Rev sometimes. He can clown on a little bit of the goofy stuff he does. He can clown on me all he wants. Ryan can make fun of me all he wants. Vault can make fun of me. Rock can make fun of me. All my friends can make fun of me and criticize the things I say and tell me what I'm saying is wrong. It happens. We have a podcast together. We don't always agree about shit but you want to know something we're big enough adults that we can do all that stuff and it still be okay and not boil down to look at the cabal making fun of me look at that they're oh my god they're coming for me the matrix is crashing down on me all i did was say booster boxes need to be booster boxing i don't really have anything against you just like it makes all of your videos look kind of shitty now my personal opinion because i know what kind of a soft mofo i'm talking to at this point i'm talking to someone that rock sandy has put you in like a fucking shiver me timbers mode <laughs>
Maybe try criticizing something next time. Maybe actually try to give some solid criticism of that stuff. Rock can take it. Fucking, I can take it. Anybody can take the criticism. It just doesn't seem like you can take the criticism. And I'm really hoping that changes, dude, because that's one of the things I like about what you do is you do put your points out there and you do actually state how you feel about stuff. Not super common in the Pokemon community. I, I agree with what you're saying. There's a lot of fence riders, but the biggest thing you rode the fence about was you talking about your own content. It's like, I never decided I don't want to make drama content. I wasn't making drama. I was pointing how I felt about Danny Phantom. Meanwhile, using Danny Phantom in your fucking video thumbnail, talking about all the stuff that you don't like about what he did and talking about like basically how he's wrong and steering people down the wrong way for investing. You made a drama video. You fucking fence rider. You made one. What the fuck do you mean? I, I didn't mean to do that. Look at all these people making drama and hate videos. Bro, what kind of video did you make? <laughs> man, get get some get something, man. I don't know what you need, but you need it.